hello friends welcome to explore youtube channel today in this tutorial video we'll be going to learn about one of the best and dynamic function being available for list box to display our data in list box and as well as we can populate or update data depending on the expansion of column or row wise in spreadsheet so it will automatically update it in or ex in the expanded list box as well as well as we can select specific data or multiple data to display in our specific reports for taking right decisions and this random data can be print out easily right now we are here on the sheet which name is as list data and you can see here i have vertical data which is quite lengthy over here and i would like to display this data in this list box so this how we make this i'll show you in a bit before that we'll be going to have a demo over here and friends once i bring this data in list box then if i click any of the data randomly and i want to display that over here in my report then how i can do this so let's close this over here and go to report and we have same button over here and you can see on the earlier list data sheet that we had nine columns so right now if i click on this button display and I click on serial number 2, 5, 9 and 11 and then I hit on add data so you can see here instantly I got my data over here in the report and from here I can bring up my printouts but what happens if my data over here in my database got expanded for instance I just copy this column over here and I bring it up to three columns and we would like to see now my column over here have reached to column number 12 so if I go back to reports and I just let this data to be as it is and click on display button and this time I'm going to bring up serial number 4, 6 and 8 and any number of data you can select over here and just hit on add data so you can see here once my data is being expanded to column or to row wise my data is being automatically populated over here depending on the function we used over here in list box so friends over here in this new sheet I have prepared this data over here of all the nine columns and this data is in vertical form go to insert then we go to shapes and we are here we select any of the shape and then we go to text box and we write over there display and then we can select any of the design and here where next function is we have to bring source source data to be displayed in list box so we go to formulas then we go to name manager and here we go to new and we name our data info then we come to refers to and here we put equal to sign and so here we start with offset function and now we click here on cell number b3 then we put three commas and we start with new function that is counter a and we start with new bracket and then we click here on cell number B2 until J2 and here we delete 2 and put 1000 over here to add our data up to 1000 row and then we close and we put comma over here and start with new function that is counter A and put a parenthesis or open bracket here and then we click on this row number 2 and then we close the bracket twice and hit close if I go back to name manager and I click here you can see here my data is being selected from B3 until J3 and downwards up to J1000 so we have done first thing and now we go to developer tab here we click on visual basics and we click on insert then we click on user form and we will expand this user form horizontally and then we add one button over here and then we add new button over here and here we will add list box 
So friends, now we have to give name to our command, command button one and command button two. So friends, you can see here, I have given color coding to this user form and I click on the user form. Then I go to here in the properties and over here in the name, I have mentioned the name auto update form one and in the caption, I have mentioned the name auto data and then I click on the command button and then change the name over here to CMD add and in the caption, I have mentioned add data. So similarly, I click on close button and go to name here in the properties and here change the name to CMD close and in the caption close. Then I click on the list box over here and you can see here in our data, we have nine columns over here. That's why I mentioned one to nine over here. After clicking on the list box, this property box shows we have nine columns and depending on the size of the columns, I just remembered the size and I mentioned the data over here. Similar way you have to follow these steps to add column width in order to bring right column size here in the list box. And then we have to come back over here to the row source data. So friends, you remember when we were over here on the formulas and in the name manager, we have given our data as an info name. So after clicking on the list box, we have to come to the properties and here in the row source, we have to mention the name info and enter. Once I enter, you can see here my all data is being represented over here in the list box. And we will compress this. So we have finished the designing as well as adding data in list box. Now we have to start with the coding. So the coding is dim show me as range, comma, disk as range. It'll make you understand once we finish with this one. And we have another coding that is dim x as integer because we do not want words. We want to display numbers. That's why we use integer over here. Y as integer. And now we have to set show me equal to see here. We would like to just display our data in re report, which is sheet number one. So we mentioned sheet one dot self. And we start with bracket and here we mention rows dot count and we put three because we have to start from row number three and we will see this in a bit and we mention dot and start with bracket xl up dot offset we are using offset function so we mentioned first column and zero row and we close the bracket and then hit enter and this time we're going to set disk which we mentioned uh, this time we set disk in sheet one dot range and the range should be start from where so we have to see this and for the time being, we just mentioned the random number over here of the cell number. And next, y is equal to 0. And for x, it should be equal to 0 to me dot auto list box. You can see over there in the list box, I mentioned the name of the list box as auto list box one. That's why I display here because we want to display this here and list count minus one. And then if me dot auto list box dot selected and here we need X which here x is this and we need this x over here which is 0 to me dot list box 1 dot list count minus 1 then what happens 
then show me what we have to mention equal to sign over here show me me dot auto list box one data which is here dot list dot list and we put it in packets the x and for y and for y we mention one two disk dot value minus one show me dot and here we'll be using offset function zero row and y column and then we put equal to signs and then we use me dot we want that list box to be display here dot list and here we would like to display x as a row and y as a column as we set the y for the next y and this time we mentioned set show me equal to show me dot offset one and first row and zero column and we end it with end if then we hit enter and next x then we go to 4x if we wanted to clean up the data from the list box after we have mentioned first data we would like to enter much more data then we have to clear it and for that we need 4x equal to 0 to me dot auto list box 1 dot list count minus 1 hit enter and here if me dot list box auto list box 1 dot select it here x is being displayed then what happens then me dot auto list box one dot selected and hit x should be false then we mention here next x and end it with answer so this is the coding friends because first we need dim show me as range disk as range and we set the x with this code that x should display the data from the list box in the report and then we mention coding for the y as well and then we mention this data to be displayed through offset function which we used earlier and we mentioned that name info in the list box then we use next x and then to clear this data on the in the list box in the user form to display another data because we need to click on another data to display our data so that's why this code is being added over here so we will going to play this code now playing the list box we would like to have to count the column number over here in the report section and for this we use count and formula and then we start with bracket and then we go to list data and here we click on the second row and hit enter so you can see here right now there are nine columns in case if i added more columns here and you can see right now there are 10 columns and here over here in the report it's get updated so this cell number is b1 so so in this user form you can see here we have mentioned for sheet one here set disk equal to sheet one dot range b1 because in the b1 we have mentioned the total number of count of columns so depending on these columns expansion or data will get populated in list box and over there we can click on random data to be displayed in a spreadsheet and to 
for close button we have mentioned the coding over here is unload me that's it so we have to give right click over here on this button and we have to go to assign macro and here we go to new macro and over there we mention auto update form 1 which is the name of the form to be show and then we close this and and if now I click on this display button and I click on multiple data to get display on my spreadsheet in the report and click on add data so you can see here my data is being added and in case I have this column over here I just expand it to three more columns and let's see our data is being updated over here in the 12 columns and clicking on this button now you can see here our further data is being added or not so yes it is being added you can see here there is only one thing we have to do is we have to mention manually the headings of the expanding data over here in the report columns so you can see my data is being displayed and now if I select my data and I go to file and here go to print you can see here my data is being displayed here and I go to paste setup and here if you like to add more percentage to get zoom I can get it and get print immediately so friends this way you can add multiple data to your reporting by following these steps and coding in user form I hope this works very well for you I thank you friends for watching this video please like share and subscribe explore YouTube channel so I can bring up more videos for you thank you for watching